This is a short podcast on the drawing entity relationship diagrams. I so just remind you, so entity relationship diagram is a way of sort of modeling physical situation, convert it into a diagram, and then with the diagram you convert it into code to create an Excel schema, which defines your database. So just starting off, just remind you of some of the terms. An entity is defined as a thing capable of independent existence that can be uniquely identified. So an entity, an example of that would be a person. An attribute, uh, characteristics of an entity is how you describe an entity essentially. And an example of an attribute is a person's name. So an entity, an example of an entity is a person, then an attribute is a person's name. And these are part of this, the uh, entity. And attributes are some of the, the uh, key components of, uh, of how we do data modeling. So there are many different notations to model uh, entity uh, relationship diagrams using the textbooks. Uh, below are some examples of a chance notations. Here there's a, uh, so here we have uh, an artist creating, uh, writing a song and the entity is a square, a rectangular box. And then the relationship is a diamond performs the song. So that's the relationship between the uh, two entities. And then in Chen's notation, he has a, a rectangle for the entity. And then the attribute is a, a, an oval shape. And also they have a relationship with uh, an attribute. So if you're around sometimes, if you just pull a random book off a database, you'll see that there are many ways to uh, to describe uh, entities and relationships. And we just saw the Chen notation, uh, where we have a rectangular box, then the relationship is for a diamond, and then there's a sort of, also mentioned in the past, the multiplicity of the relationship. There are many people on location, and then there's a whole bunch of other types of notation on which we're going to go through. Uh, ID fix, Bachman, minmax SO, and UML. UML is used a lot in uh, object auto programming. It's a way of modeling situations beyond just uh, data. But the one we're going to look at is called the crow's foot notation. That's the one we use in this course. So it, the crow's foot notation it's a way of drawing diagrams to show relationship between entities, attributes, and relationships. It was introduced in the middle 70s by Gordon Everest, and it was used by people working in the early days of Oracle. So Oracle is one of the big database vendors in the world, and this company was set up in the, the late 70s. So we discussed in the past, there's uh, an important thing is relationship between entities, and the Crowsworks notation is you have a line connecting the entities, and if you have this double parallel line here, that means there's uh, there's only one, uh, one and only one uh, things on this end. If there's uh, one or many, so there could be, like in the previous example, if there's how many people are there in a building, there can be one or many. Uh, then you might use this notation, this kind of crow's foot notation, and uh, and another notation if, if there's zero or many so perhaps this is a better analogy for the people in the building there can be no one in the building or many people in the building so you use a crow foot notation with the uh, open circle and down here there's a little reference on the different notations so this is the way you kind of connect uh, the different entities so how do you deal with the attributes so you have a, a, an entity and then you draw a box and then you put the attributes as rows in the box uh, so this is the way the notation works and here's the entity of the attribute so here's a student uh, and then the attributes are like the first name last name date of birth and uh, major sort of what degree they're studying and it'll star and then one of these is the uh, as the key I mean star is not an essential notation but the, the key thing here is we have a an entity the name at the top and then the attributes are listed down there So how do we uh, draw the diagrams? Well, how to use some kind of software. Uh, 
Uh, so I'm going to show you two examples. I'm just going to work with one of them. Here's this example here, hbsappdiagrams.net. Uh, and this can draw many types of diagrams. It can draw entity relationship diagrams, other diagrams, such as UML and flowcharts. And it works with Google Drive. And this is an example of, of uh, one example of drawing one of these diagrams. Uh, so here's the custom I, so here's my table. And then this first name, second name, so here are the attributes. And here's the key, the primary key. Here's the primary key. Here's another table that should probably be called different names. And you can see they're connected. So the customers are related to uh, orders. And you can see there's the crow's foot notation there. And you can draw uh, with this uh, URL. Okay. So here you have uh, a diagram. So this is what I click on. This is the HPS. This is the uh, URL we used on. So if you click on, uh, and this is using my Google account uh, to, to store the thing so it gets stored in uh, the Google Drive. So I'm going to go for the entity relationship diagram. I'm going to go for create. Ask me where I want to put it. That's a bit slow. And here it's given me an example just to set me off. Uh, so I have customers, orders, shipments. Uh, so if I want to add in, uh, so this is the example they give. Here's on the left, there's uh, entity relationship diagram type things. So if I want to bring in a, a, a new uh, entity relationship, I put it in here, and then I can click on things to uh, change the name. Uh, name. So it's all very nicely GUI based. Change the name. Uh, uh, change the name of the table. Then uh, if I want to add in uh, an additional row, just make this a bit bigger. I want to add an additional row. I click on here, and I can bring the row into the. Uh, so remember, here's the uh, the entity, and then here's here are all the attributes. If you want to make connectors, there's various kind of connectors. Uh, okay, so I think this is a one-to-one -one relationship. You can drag down the uh, connectors to the and to the other objects. Okay, it's not well designed. But you can see it's very GUI based and you can build up a uh, uh, an instantiation light diagram. You can if you so wish uh, cut stuff out. So it's fairly intuitive how to use. Uh, and then you see the main thing is to use the entity, entity relationship diagrams. And you can see the reason I mentioned the notations. So the other notations are also in here as well, but we're going to use this crow's foot notation. So uh, we just want to use connectors like this uh, and this. Uh, and then, as usual with these things, you can save it as uh, uh, you can save it as an image and then include it in the Word document to show your, uh, your entity relationship diagram uh, in terms of the coursework. OK, so I mean, it's. Uh, it takes a little bit to get used to, but it's all point and click, so there's nothing really uh, complicated. It's just a question of pulling these things in and uh, and just making it kind of look nice. So I'm not going to demonstrate it in this podcast, but there's another option for creating entity relationship diagrams. There's MySQL Workbench, which can create entity relationship diagrams. Uh, this is a more sophisticated package, and actually, they uh, when you build up the diagram, you can actually use it to write SQL schemas to create the tables. And also, I believe I've not actually tried is MySQL can create a diagram from an existing database. Uh, I think this probably has, uh, uh, I think 
this would have to be a database in, inside MySQL. Uh, I mean, in the jargon of this thing, this is known as reverse engineering. So in that case, you take an existing database and then try and visualize it one of these entity uh, relationship diagrams. Uh, I'm, so I'm not going to demonstrate the use in this uh, in this podcast. I did. Uh, I have used it a little bit. I found the interface a bit clunky, but it's kind of more powerful than the previous system we just looked at. And you can download it uh, from here. Okay. So Blow is an example of the entity relationship diagram I created with MySQL. And you can see you have the, uh, the name of the entity and then the, uh, uh, the attributes. And you can see there's actually more information in here. You actually can put in the uh, the type of the different attributes, integer, varchar, varchar, another int, same here. So the varchar is like a string, custom IDs. And you can see this almost looks more like a kind of schema. Uh, and, and this is also why you can actually, uh, it'll convert the diagram directly into, uh, into an SQL schema which you can use to define the uh, which you can use to define uh, the schema and then define all the tables uh, so I uh, I found actually installing MySQL can be a bit hard and uh, I've not done it for a while MySQL workbench can be installed independently of MySQL I believe you can just install it so you don't need to run any MySQL uh, database system because we don't really use it in this course uh, but this is just an independent piece of code that will draw diagrams and I should say for the course I mean if you want to use I had a student last year who wants to use uh, lucid charts or something else as long as you uh, ask me for another system I, I'll probably approve it but uh, the two systems I have here maybe the previous one uh, it is is a good good system for drawing these diagrams